Hello everyone, welcome to another Source Gaming Discussion. I'm Triss, and I'm joined by Nerbion. Hey! To discuss what kind of stages the Kirby series could have in the next Smash game. So, we, uh, we came up with a bit of a list. Uh, we're focusing more so on the newer mainline games. Pretty much everything after, and including, uh, Return to Dreamland. Yes. <laughs> As many fans, many of Kirby fans complain that Sakurai only includes games that he worked on, like the Great Cave Offensive or mm -hmm. the Game Boy stage, which is basically <laughs> Dreamland. So yeah, we are focusing on new titles and some maybe surprising ones, some less surprising <laughs> stages. Let's see. Alright, so the first one on our list is uh, from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, the Lore Star Cutter, specifically as a travel stage. <laughs> yes, I think many fans love Megalore as a character, <laughs> he's very popular. So he might even get in Smash, but that's another story. <laughs> the Lore Star Cutter, yeah, the Lore Star Cutter could be different in one thing. He's basically, uh, not he, it's basically a ship, so mm -hmm. he could travel around Planet Popstar, visit the various locations, and make it a very similar to the Super Mario Sunshine stage. Yeah, I think and, that could work out. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot you can cover in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And I think, yeah, it would be a really good stage even for also for the fans mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, I think the lore star cutter would actually be really interesting specifically as a travel stage but I actually think it would be interesting if you're not on the lore star cutter but you go to each of the different locations and it's kind of flying around in the background kind of influencing where you go but also possibly attacking you because <laughs> that was a big that was a big deal yeah this was a big deal in the Final part of the not uh, passing most oilers, but yeah, that was a part of the game. Yeah, it could be one of the part of like the fire emblem stage, yeah, the yeah. castle that the castle uh, that the lord cutter just disappears and you're just transformed into a new area. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be actually also neat to have this <laughs> kind of stage, and also as a boss hero, I know Smash. Fans love boss fights and stages. <laughs> you can have the Lord Star Cutter as a boss. It would be. So I actually I could see it more of a uh, a hazard, kind of similar to on the Halberd stage, where uh, Meta Knight ship just has a few attacks that <laughs> can mess with players. Yeah, but I feel yeah that's a really great idea. I would love that to see, but I think it might be a bit too similar to that is Halberd. true. And I feel Sakurai doesn't want to repeat ideas for the yeah, same yeah, franchise. Yeah. yeah, that's entirely fair. So would you like to start describing what the next one is? Or do you have more yes. you think we should say for Star no, Cutter? I think we pretty much covered the lore Star Cutter. Okay. And I think we just go to the next main game, to Kirby Triple Deluxe. <laughs> and what we have, one of the stages, and I put Fine Fields. So basically the green greens of Triple Deluxe, <laughs> it might be more a basic stage and to be honest, it's kind of a lazy stage idea I had <laughs> because I just wanted to put it there for the flower visuals. <laughs> they do look very, very nice, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think if Sakurai wants to make a stage showcasing the graphic abilities of the new Smash Brothers game. Mm -hmm. I think Finefields might have a shot in showing more extended flower visuals like mm -hmm. molds and so on and so on. And I think that I mean we already have a Yoshi's Island stage with lots of flowers and right. but that's more drawn on and I think I want more flowers <laughs> in Smash Brothers. More flowers please. I think I actually feel like it would be a, a, a nice stage idea because um, after Dreamland, most people feel like 
each Kirby stage has to be like big and extravagant, but they really don't because if we look at the the Game Boy Kirby stage from Smash uh, 3DS, it's it's pretty basic actually. It's it's very straightforward. So I think the Fine Fields yeah. would be another one like that. That is, it just has nice charm to it. It has a nice charm, and yeah, the Game Boy stage it's a little bit difficult because uh, what I, what I say difficult. I mean, it was. Before it was done, it was a Super Mario Land stage. Mm -hmm. So they just changed it to a Super to a Kirby stage. I'm not sure. Don't source me on this. I mean, we are we're probably going to put source source <laughs> in our description. But I think it was because Sakurai felt there were too many Mario stages. I think that's fair. Yeah, and that is why we got a Kirby Dreamland stage instead. But yeah, fine fields might be a good stage for having a flowery stage but I think <laughs> Green Sectonia's castle might have a more bigger chance of getting in and is more interesting yeah it's we... mm. <laughs> final boss stage ooh <laughs> yeah it's the final boss stage usually you shouldn't put a final boss to the stage but I think it's fine <laughs> because the Fountain of Dreams was also in Melee. Oh, and yeah, I feel Sakurai doesn't care that much about <laughs> spoilers in Kirby game. And yeah, I still think Queen Sectonia's card, I mean, the visuals, I mean, in the 3DS, it was very stylized. And oh, yeah. I think you can do a lot about it. And you can even include. If you think it doesn't have enough flowers, <laughs> yeah. If you or if I think it doesn't have enough flowers to make the connection to Kirby's triple to Kirby triple deluxe enough, you can even have her final phase, Moonstruck Blossom. <laughs> I think that's more the level stage name, but you can have her final phase appearing in the background as stage hazard. Mm -hmm. Or as another boss fight, because we all love them. <laughs> we all love them. I actually think the boss fight sages are interesting. Yeah, they're hazardous, but th th those ones are obviously not meant for competitive play. They're really interesting, though. Yeah, I <laughs> think so. When I put the stages in the list, I didn't thought of competitive at all. Yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> I. Think I I think what's more important about the Kirby stage is it has a concept. Exactly. It has a any concept that can be worked with, and it was the case for the Great Cave Offensive, mm -hmm. because this was a stage. Sakurai needed a big giant stage, and he and the Great Cave Offensive was a fit for it, because he can make it a big layout for it. So I mean. I'm not 100% sure if this was the reasoning why <laughs> the Great Cave Offensive made it, but I think one of the Nintendo Directs mm -hmm. was that it allowed him to make a big stage for the 8-player mode. That is possible, yeah. I think, uh, I don't know, I really like the idea of uh, Queen Sectonia's castle, and or just the, the final boss of uh, Triple Deluxe, I think. Uh, I mean, as, as you mentioned, like the visuals are actually like really beautiful for the 3DS, so even like let's say it's on Switch, the, the upgraded visuals and everything would be gorgeous, honestly. And I think it'd be actually pretty interesting to have like a Kirby boss interacting with the match. So it's, you're, you know, like, like in Kirby, you're fighting the boss, but also the rest of the battle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar to Ridley. Mm -hmm. In the Metroid stage, I forgot its name, but in the Metroid stage, Ridley appeared also from time to time. Mm -hmm. Cost troubles and you can get a point from Ridley if you beat it. So yeah. I mean, it could make we could apply those roots to Sectonia as well. Mm -hmm. Make her appear, and if you defeat her, you get a stock or a point yeah, for I defeating her. Moving on from Triple Deluxe, <laughs> I think yeah, there were a lot of side games, eShop games. Oh yeah, ever since having... Triple Deluxe is a ton. <laughs> yeah, I mean we could even technically get fine fields from Kirby's Fighters Deluxe. Mm -hmm. Technically, technically but yes, yeah. <laughs> but we are focusing more on the mainline games. Mm -hmm. And I think the next is 
from Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, mm -hmm. Green Valley. And this is a very interesting case for me. And I personally feel we have a big, the biggest chance, chance of getting a Kirby stage is from Kirby's Rainbow Curse. As crazy as it may sound. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe I'm just too crazy, but I think there are many major points for the Rainbow Curse. Mm -hmm. We have to keep in mind Sakurai, or the, I feel, let's say, I feel that Sakurai tends to pay attention to the uniqueness of a Kirby stage. Yes. Like, for example, the Great Cave Offensive or the Game Boy stage. And the Rainbow in a Rainbow Core stage might be a lot. It might be very unique. Mm -hmm. One, it's visual style. The clay art style is very unique. And you won't find anyth anything else in one other game. Maybe Clay Fighters, but Clay Fighters won't get it in Smash. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, but Clay, this is one of the key visuals. One mm -hmm. of, even one of the key gimmicks of Game Boy Rainbow Course. Right. And it still reminds you of Green Greens, a Kirby stage, everybody knows, but mm -hmm. it's still very unique on its own, and visually it, st it stands out, like Yoshi's Woody World stage. Yeah, that's it's... what I'm thinking of too. And the next part is, the stage must have a gimmick, let's say it gimmick, mm -hmm. and the platforms you fight on can change every time, because it's drawn on. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main hmm. appeal of the game of Rainbow Curse and pa and Canvas Curse. Right. As so the uh, so then it could play out similar to like a mix between say your traditional Kirby stage like Dreamland, but also like the Mario Maker stage where it's constantly changing the platforms. Yeah, that's kind of the mix. I think is very appealing mm -hmm. to a green to a Rainbow Curse stage. Hmm. It's, yeah, when I just thought about having platforms appear time to time, yeah, it's remind a lot of the Mario Maker stage. <laughs> I mean, we can go on and we could even auto scroll the stage. Yeah, but that I would think be interesting. That, yeah, that would be interesting, but we shouldn't go and. <laughs> might be too much. I, <laughs> might be a little bit too much. But yeah, I think Rainbow Cross, a stage from that game, might have the biggest chance to get into the next wave because it has a lot of unique features being included in it, visually and from a gameplay take from mm -hmm. the play, game from gameplay. Yeah, it's definitely unique even among all the rest of the Kirby games, so I think it definitely does have a good chance. So after Rainbow Curse, then we go on to probably what some people still believe is a rather quiet yet amazing Kirby game, which is Planet Robobot. I agree with that. Robobot <laughs> is an amazing game. <laughs> but yeah, a game coming quite late in the 3DS era, and mm -hmm. Planet Robot is a very interesting case. Because you could pick anything from anything from any level from Planet Robobot, and you mm -hmm. exactly know. Ah, <laughs> Mechanite, Green Greens, that's from Kirby. Yeah, that's from Kirby Blended Robot. It's very distinguished, and you. This is a huge advantage of Blended Robot, and also this might be also a reason why Blended Robot have a big shot in the next Smash Brothers. Yeah, especially when Susie mm -hmm. might be a next Smash. But again, that's another story for another video. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to not get an obvious one. <laughs> because I think we already know what the big obvious stage for Kirby Planet Robobot might be. But I personally would like to see Rhythm Root mm -hmm. as a I stage. As a transformable stage like the Fire Emblem stage. Right. I mean I mean that's where more personally my likings. But mm -hmm. you can first fight <laughs> in a big city in the night with neon lights surrounding you. <laughs> Then you get transported to the casino where you have to dodge roulette balls. And after that, you get transformed into the disco ish, disco -ish stage. I'm not sure if this was really a disco or not. But <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. And you have to avoid platforms that's electrified or can hurt you. 
Yeah, like, no, that would be really good, actually. I mean, that would be an unic twist, and a stage nobody really connects with Bladed Robot, so I can fully mm -hmm. understand when a viewer think, what the, <laughs> what the f, <laughs> what the f is he thinking? But I actually yeah. think it'd be. Um, I actually think it'd be really interesting to have like the rhythm route though, because um, especially like late game uh, Planet Robobot, where you had all those levels where uh, you kept jumping through like the portals and it kept changing to different locations of Planet Robobot for subsections, and it all yes. felt very digital and it felt it felt very simulated of these levels rather than actually going back to them, and I think that captures the feel of what Planet Robobot was very very well. Yes, that's true. I mean, if you have to think about, if we want to take a stage from Planet Robot, it must be a mechanized stage. It mm -hmm. must make a feel that suddenly Kirby is in a industrial world or transformed mm. world. I mean, his his planet was, yeah, changed for the worst. <laughs> and yeah, I think it would be fun. But I think to get the, I think the most obvious and more likely stage coming from this game might be the main building from Altman Corbo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I already hear high quality riffs yep. from very far afar. <laughs> but yeah, I think it basically Altman was the main antagonist through all the whole game and you already saw the presence of this big corporation, of this big company. Through right. the whole game, so it makes sense to include a stage that pretty much is the main plot point of Kirby Planet Robobot. I think it'd be really good to have, and you can have so much going on in the background, and especially with the the Star Dream kind of sitting there in the background. Yes, I mean, with Star Dream, you can do a lot mm -hmm. because it's not just the end boss. I mean, I think it might be a little bit spoilerish, as I say it. So if you haven't finished any extra mode from Planet Robot, just close the video quickly. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't. You usually shouldn't say that in a video, but yeah, close the video <laughs> if it's too spoilery. <laughs> but yeah, in the Meta Knight mode, if you fight Dream Soul OS or the Star Dream Soul OS, you're not fighting the big thing. You're fighting several Kirby enemies from the past. Mm -hmm. And this could be a very uh, interesting if you compare it, for example, with this bear pillar from Smash Brothers Brawl, where several right, Pokemon yeah. appear, cause hazards and such. And you could do the same with the Star Dream solo is, where several Kirby enemies come in. Mm -hmm. Galactica, Star Galactica? Nah. Galactica Knight, yet yeah, now I got mm. it. Galactica Knight. <laughs> and even Kirby enemies that weren't in Planet Robobot, just for the surprise. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, I think you could do a lot with the Star Dream Soul OS. <laughs> but, think... but you could also yeah, you could also do a lot with the President Hartman. Yeah. But I think that's <laughs> the yeah, less interesting part, even though he's the main antagonist <laughs> of this game. When uh, when I saw um, when I saw you put the stage on the like, suggestions, uh, one of the first things that came to mind was like the act like the the big final boss where you're on the halberd and it's flying at Star Dream, which is basically just Nova again. But I was imagining that as like the stage happening like in front of that, and then in the entire background essentially is the Star Dream doing all these different attacks, not really affecting the stage, but just for like really big visuals akin to oh. I guess like the Star Fox stages. Yeah, I think I like your idea more than mine. I, must say I like your idea more than mine now. Uh, I mean, this was an amazing moment when I played it for the first time. And mm -hmm. This capturing in a stage where a lot of things happens when you're, I mean, for the heck of love, Halbot is in space. Mm -hmm. you can't do a stage about that, then you're lost. And <laughs> but that's cr that's a really good idea. I mean, and it will it also give them the advantage of reusing the Hartman mod, mm -hmm. 3D mod, a uh, Hartman. I mean, Halbert. Oh, the Halbert, yeah. <laughs> Halbert 3D model. Mm -hmm. 
if they have to make it fast or I mean reusing assets is kind of one of the part that makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. and having that street star dream soul in the background <laughs> attacking or I mean especially since the star dream soul is already a callback to the Nova from the yeah. Superstar so I would love that I would read <laughs> That would be actually my favorite state. <laughs> <laughs> I love this idea so much. I love it so much. I was thinking, because especially because Star Dream is such a huge reference to older Kirby games, and Planet Robot as a whole was like a really, really good reference to so many older Kirby games. I think that would actually be one they would really want to jump on, because they could put so many references in one stage that's just really, really representative of the entire Kirby series, not just Robobot. Yes, that's... That's a very good point, especially since Sakurai sees Star Dream says, "Oh, I know this character. Let's put him in. <laughs> let's put him as page." So yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yes. Oh god. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I, I must say, I love this stage. <laughs> now I really want this too. <laughs> oh boy. So I think that wraps up specifically what we already listed. But Again, we do know there's the high possibility of Kirby Star Allies getting something. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's it, and when the new Smash Brothers game comes out, it is the latest Kirby game. Mm -hmm. And I think Sakurai wants at least draw some content from new content uh, from new games. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's difficult to. See um, what kind of stage it can come from from Star Allies, and that's because Star Allies relies a lot of old Kirby aesthetics and mm -hmm. designs. So it's a really tricky one to decide. Yeah, I want that stage from Star Allies or that, uh, because it kinda still has the very famous Kirby by every game has. Right, and. Of course, we have to know more about its characters, about its... I mean, we basically have an idea about its plot, but mm -hmm. its setting, its final stage. <laughs> I mean, I just realized we have two final stages, as final bosses in our stage list. And I think if we are going to put a Star Allies stage mm -hmm. in Smash, I have a feeling we would also go for the final boss again. <laughs> So I have a feeling about it. I think I feel I have basic feeling about it. Hmm. But yeah, we still don't know a lot about Star Allies. Yeah, that's, so... that's what makes it tough. I think, I mean, if we look at the demo, for example, the demo had technically three levels. Two of them were kind of combined into one, where there was like the, there was the grasslands, mm -hmm. there was the cave, and there was DDD's castle, kind of combined with the cave level. And I think even just pulling those three and just kind of having a stage that kind of moves about and shows different locations with the really really beautiful aesthetic of uh, Kirby Star Allies you can have like hearts flying around in the background you can have um, just background elements that are constantly in motion like maybe a team of a bunch of like the the friends running around like a different background stage fighting and doing things and they're the ones influencing when the stage changes yes I mean I think one of the big aspects of Star Allies is the friend system. And I think you can draw a lot of inspiration from that aspect. Like like you said, influencing some of the elements of the stage, like burning bushes and grass. Mm -hmm. But I think the traveling stages, yes, I mean, that's a good, good idea. I kind of like it, but it's still the main problem is still that it's not distinguished from other Kirby games and like a common people who doesn't know anything about Kirby and he sees this stage she thinks yeah okay that's basically every Kirby game yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah so that this is what it makes it a little bit different uh, mm -hmm. a little bit di difficult I mean from past Kirby stages except one green greens every Kirby stage you can tell yeah that's from Kirby's adventure that's from Kirby superstar without even checking the bio or something else. And with, mm -hmm. the, with your idea, I mean, it might be very representative of Kirby as a whole series. 
mm -hmm. but not as a game. Yeah, yeah. Unless you have friends in the background who causes a bit troubles, like setting <laughs> with their fire swords and yeah, and about the star ally stage. What I just thought about is a curved castle DDD as a stage. Oh, mm, and maybe mm. have buff DDD. I mean, especially <laughs> I want buff DDD as a stage hazard. But then there comes the next problem. DDD is already in the roster. They just made so that his final smash. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. That, <laughs> I would make the heck of buff DDD. <laughs> Oh my god, if he's the Ultra Flash, I would ignore DDD at all and always try to get the Ultra Smash Ball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, regarding Kirby Star Allies, there's a lot of possibilities, but we don't have a basic or a distinguished idea. So we yeah. have to wait a little bit. That's okay though. I mean, <laughs> as of recording, this is not out yet, but that's okay. It's yeah, it, I mean, it, it's for Kirby Week and it's already coming out very soon. So mm -hmm. we find out soon, sooner <laughs> or later, what we can have at this stage. <laughs> All right. Well, um, any final thoughts on any of the Kirby idea, Kirby stage ideas we've listed thus far? I think I am pretty, uh, pretty much set up. I think I put a lot of my thoughts about each game and as a last thing, a last thing mm -hmm. maybe it's my personal hopes but I still feel even with star allies around the corner mm -hmm. that we might still get from Rainbow Course a stage mm. since it has a lot of unique features and an unique visual style that gets recognized instantly so that might be my last words for that but I would love to see every stage from that game, or uh, every stage we just listed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's obviously not possible because it's a Smash Brothers game, not a Kirby Brothers game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once we get more Kirby representation in, then we can say that. Yes, but <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we have right. to see. <laughs> Well, I think that about wraps up this discussion. So, what do you guys think? Do you have a sage idea we didn't mention? Because we, I think we definitely like to hear that. <laughs> uh, make sure to let us know in the comments below or on Twitter, as you can find both of our social media links in the description. So, with that, remember to always return to the source. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>